This is Busan in South Korea. Let's find out why it's considered an underrated gem for nightlife in East Asia. Welcome to Busan. Time for another nightlife adventure. We're going to show you some good bars and nightclubs here. Busan. South Korea's second largest city is home to 3.4 million people and is renowned for having one of the world's largest ports and its beautiful beaches frequently being highlighted in Korean TV dramas. Busan has four nightlife districts for a fun night out. Samyang, Gyeongsang, Gwangali Beach and Haeyeondae Beach. In this video we're going to check out the best rooftop patios, fancy whiskey bars, the hottest and biggest nightclubs, Busan's best pop crawl, its crazy party streets, the many wacky arcades, some underground techno, Busan's large amount of excellent date spots, summer music festivals, the best places to mingle with Korean locals, a quick tour of an Airbnb we rented for our stay, and of course, a ton of bonus tips. We are kicking off this nightlife adventure in Samyang, the most popular party district here in Busan. This is the Samyang district. It's one of the best districts. You can see it's absolutely packing. There's so many people here. Some people say go to the beach, but the real party is right here. It's tons of young people, bars, nightclubs, restaurants. You would want to start at Samyang station and walk southeast towards the main nightlife street. Jugangjero Jupek Paishi Bangange. A narrow walking street with many street level bars and nightclubs. You can even partake in some street level baccarat, its buckloads of photo rooms, many of the wacky carousels, on the middle of the street, every single day here, or sing your heart out in its 24 7 karaoke rooms. Samyang also counts a few hidden alleyways with beautiful decorative lighting. The best place to start off your night is by grabbing eats at Yakiya, a fantastic Japanese isekaya to enjoy some quality okonomiyaki, which is a savory Japanese pancake. There is often a line waiting outside, so make sure to come early. Go for the pork belly okonomiyaki for just 16,500 won, roughly 12 US dollars. And make sure to add some octopus as well. Oh wow! That is delicious. For drinks here, I recommend the Japanese highballs, whiskey plus soda. That's the Earl Grey version. Delicious though, but really strong. After dinner, walk over to Momskol on the main party street for your first few drinks and to mingle with local Koreans. However, if you are completely new to Busan and looking to make some new friends, join the official Busan Pop Crawl by Absolute. The Pop Crawl takes you to three bars and the best nightclub in town. For just 19 US dollars, you will be guaranteed to have an epic night with locals, expats and other travelers and learn everything there is to know about the latest hotspots in Busan. Special tip, visit reformat.com to get an exclusive 10% discount on tickets. The crawl often kicks off at Radlet, a solid bar with an outdoor patio and indoor darts. Beers, 6,001, four bucks, cocktails, eight bucks. Once you got your wristband on and enjoyed a few welcome drinks, it is time to move on to the next bar. Cheers to the pub crawl, yes. Ghost Club is conveniently located around the block from Radlet, where the crawl starts to heat up. Next is Party Next Door, which is a larger venue and includes welcome shots and has a great intimate dance floor. Do keep in mind that most Koreans start to hit up the nightclubs well past 1 a.m. The pop crawl often ends the night at Vibrate, a massive EDM club in the heart of Samyang. Oh shit, mind your head, mind your head. Yeah, mind your head. <laughs> what is this, like a bomb shelter? Again, welcome shots and blasting beats. <laughs> Vibrate has mostly a young Korean crowd ready to party it up. I recommend you stay here until 2 a.m. before moving on to the next bars and nightclubs. Literally next door to Vibrate is JJ, considered the most popular nightclub in Samyang among the Busan locals. Do expect lineups to often wrap around the corner. Apparently this place can be very, very hard to get into, but if you are with a good group of local Koreans and you speak some Korean as well, you should be fine. By this time you'll notice many locals pouring into the narrow some young streets to move on from bar to bar and is a great place for people watching. Double Pop is a local legend here in Busan, a fun dive bar with an international crowd. Go here for some good hip-hop and R&B. 
They are proud of having Busan's only anti-bitch club policy. The entrance is free. Lockers, one buck. Beers, six bucks. Cocktails, eight bucks. They also offer unlimited cocktails from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. for just 15 bucks. Guaranteed, people will be tanked here by 10 p.m. <laughs> Just like Seoul, Busan counts a fair amount of Thursday party locations. The most popular one being Thursday Party Draft House. Here you will often find a fun local crowd down to mingle with foreigners. Enjoy a wacky selection of beer flavors. That's cinnamon and beer. Definitely a great spot to mingle with Korean locals. Beer starting at just three bucks. If you want to go more local, check out Hit The Beach. This place is mostly Korean, so you barely find any foreigners here. Hit The Beach is located on the rooftop and rocks some excellent views of the Samyang district. This is Output, the one and only techno club here in Busan. They have some great DJs here on the weekend and it's open until 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Output is known as Busan's main techno club. The cover is 10,000 won, roughly $7.50 US, before 12 a.m. After 12 a.m., it's 15,000 won. Luckily, you can always re-enter Korean clubs at any point during the night. So grab your stamp early on to save cash and time. Beers and cocktails, six bucks. Notable mentions in Samyang are Fuzzy Novel for another enjoyable drink, but also doubles as a great date spot. Cream nightclub for a good international hip hop party. You can still get coffee, you can still get snacks. Yeah. You can even do selfies. A lot of places are open until 3, 4 o'clock. And if you're lucky, some places are open until 5. Yeah. Belfors for EDM nights, but yet again, it's mostly Korean and will have a strict door policy. <laughs> In addition to Belfors, there's also Pokshakut Pangwang, which is also mostly Korean locals. For jazz venues, check out Display Speak Easy, where you have to enter through this classic British phone booth. In the middle of all the Samyang action, you will find Sambo Gameland, or as it's called here, Sambo Disco Pang Pang, for some arcade relief. Here you can shoot some airsoft guns, throw some hoops, Dance Dance Revolution, or break your fist outside on their street-level boxing balls. <laughs> there is also Jejang Games across the street, which is usually less busy. It's 3 a.m. Everything is still open. You can play Hong Kong and Initial D. For a classy night out, you definitely gotta check out Woodside Bar, where you can sip on quality whiskeys in a high-end, relaxing atmosphere. They offer a huge selection of whiskeys from Scotland, starting at just 16,000 won, 12 US dollars per glass. They also offer quality cocktails starting at just 11 bucks. Samyang also has some cozy hidden alleyways with even more unique bars. You really gotta love that decorative lighting here. I also highly recommend Selfie Studios. You grab whatever you want and then you dive into the selfie booth. These selfie studios can be found on pretty much every street corner in the Samyang district. And most of them are accessible 24-7. This is a great place to bring a date. It's not bad, it's like four or five dollars. These places are loaded with accessories. From large cute bow ties to complete police officer outfits. What is this, Sailor Moon? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Even after 3 a.m. you can still find lots of street food options. From spicy teboki to octopus pancakes. Some restaurants, especially in Samyang, stay open until 8 a.m. So plenty of options to end your night with a quality Korean meal. <laughs> Moving on to the student district of Busan, Gyeongsang. Here you will find a very local atmosphere with mostly Korean students from the major three universities of Busan. <laughs> Yeah! Also, the bar and restaurant scene here is extremely authentic. The Pyeongsang district is good for a cheap bite and uh, some bar crawling if you're on a budget. Our favorite spot was by far the Korean pork barbecue at Pig Village. Pyeongsang boasts numerous excellent date spots, ranging from its hidden alleyways, famously referred to as Pyeongsang's cultural alley, where you can capture some amazing selfie moments, to the warmth of its cozy coffee shops, open until midnight. Here, creativity knows no bounds. 
In Kyongsung you will also find Game D, a super cheap arcade with some wacky arcade games <laughs> like Candy Panic. What an experience! Next, the romantic Gwangali Beach Area, locally known as the best spot for dates. It is almost like you're walking into a Korean TV drama. My favorite spot here was definitely the Hotel One rooftop for its insane staircase to heaven. So the stairway is a bit scary, it's a bit squeaky and you cannot be afraid of heights. Rewarding you with these excellent views of the Gwangali Beach and the Gwangang Bridge. It starts at 7 bucks or you can get an all-inclusive buffet for 11 bucks, so that's pretty good. Once you're done exploring the roof, you can settle in and snuggle up in their semi-private booths and take in the romantic evening views or watch the sunset. Above all, you could also go here to work remotely. They have a large array of desks and karaoke booths. As you can see here, this place was completely empty. The best bar in Gwangali Beach is hands down Thursday Party. The final area worth mentioning is Hyundai Beach, which is located the furthest east from downtown Busan. Hyundai is the most popular beach in Busan and has many upscale restaurants and bars. The most unique cocktail bar here is Muse On, a vinyl only bar where you can submit your classic song requests. Now I may go out on a limp here, but possibly an even better date spot besides the beaches in Busan is on top of Hangjongsang Mountain, aka Palam Mountain, where during nighttime you can enjoy insanely romantic 360 degree views of the entire city of Busan. Busan also counts many great music festivals like the Busan International Rock Festival taking place every August, attracting over 100,000 visitors. <laughs> And it's a ship, Korea, taking place in May. A three-day music festival on top of a giant cruise ship known as Asia's largest festival at sea. You wouldn't want to miss this, especially for the party fanatics among us. Oh my God. For this trip, we decided to rent an Airbnb in the Gyeongsang district, especially since Gyeongsang is very centrally located in close proximity to Samyang, Gwangali Beach and Hyundai Beach. The Airbnb came with two excellent work desks and a large private balcony, not too shabby. To summarize, if Hyundai Beach has the class, Samyang is like a downtown, Gwangali Beach has the cuteness, then Kyungsung can be considered the champion of the night, boasting the best late night bar and food scene in Busan on Friday and Saturday nights. Busan's nightlife offers an endless array of fun that can keep you occupied until sunrise. To make the most of it, I highly recommend you download my complete Busan master map, which includes all the locations I mentioned in this video, plus a ton of extras. Ensuring you hit all the top spots and you don't wander around aimlessly, since you wouldn't want to leave Busan without experiencing its best party scenes. Now here are my bonus tips. The best time to truly enjoy the nightclubs in Busan is between 2 and 4 a.m. The drinking age in South Korea starts at 19 and drinking in public is allowed. However, do not take your drunkenness too far because you could end up in the hospital or even worse, in jail. Smoking is still very common in Korea. You'll find loads of these cigarette butts littering the streets of Samyang. The makeup corner. <laughs> Energy drink. So sleepy. Cheers. We got a long night to go.